today, we're gonna tape a hockey stick using the same style as three-time Stanley Cup champion, Sidney Crosby. Let's get started. The first thing needed is, of course, a hockey stick. The hockey stick we will be using is the Warrior Covert with the W01 curve. Contrary to the Crosby CCM curve, Sidney Crosby uses a flatter curve with a wider paddle. So, this one should work for us as it does have a wider paddle and it has quite a flat curve. It should be noted though that for this tape job you can use any curve. The only other thing that we need is some one inch black cloth tape. For this we went with the popular Howie's Hockey Tape which I received as a free add-on from ProStockHockey.com when I ordered some gloves. Also an additional thing that you might need are some scissors in case the tape decides not to cooperate. Before we put this together here are the key components to this tape job. First We'll be starting from the heel of the blade and taping towards the toe. Second, Sidney Crosby overlaps the tape quite a bit, so make sure you have a good amount of tape on the roll before you begin taping. The third and final component is that he uses black tape over white tape. Some people use black tape because they claim that it helps hide the puck from the goaltender or defenseman more. Whether or not that is true, I'm not certain, but I know that even a fraction of a second matters when playing in the NHL, so any small advantage might be worth it. Now, let's tape the blade. First, we start a little bit behind the heel on the backhand side. We place about one inch of tape and wrap it around and begin making our way to the toe. Nothing complicated here. The only thing to keep in mind is that Sid keeps the tape tight about one fourth to one third of the tape overlapping as you make your way to the toe. Once you make it to where the toe begins to round off, go once more around. Here, you can cut the tape leaving about an inch on the forehand side and angle that piece backwards towards the heel. That's it. Now that you have the Crosby tape job on your paddle, go score some goals and dish some passes. Let me know in the comment if you use white or black tape and include any reason why you prefer one over the other. Sorry for the interruption. I wanted to let you know that every 10,000 subscribers we get to this channel, we will be giving away one full set of hockey gear. From the helmet to the skates, gloves, sticks, everything. Everything you need to be a hockey player. Now, to enter, all you have to do is leave a comment on this video, like, and subscribe. Also, go watch other videos and leave comments on those as every comment from every video once we hit 10,000 will be entered in to winning the full set of gear. Okay, back to taping your stick like Sidney Crosby. The Crosby tape job appears to be less and less popular each year. My feeling is that since the game is moving towards shooting off of your toe more, that people are going to want more tape around their toe, where Crosby's tape job does not provide all that much tape on the toe. However, for those who still use the flat mid curves, I think that this tape job is very useful as this tape job will provide a good amount of grip on the blade for optimal puck control. If you enjoyed learning how to tape your stick like Sidney Crosby, please hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications to be alerted to new content drops. Until next time.